Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and welcome back to my shop. I'd like to give you a little bit of an update that's happened over the past week or so. I've actually gotten a little bit of shop time in, and I've worked on my uh, crib build. Uh, I've gotten some mortise and tenons done on that, and I've also been working on the shop itself. I've been uh, rearranging the shop, making some space for a new tool that I got in. I've also sold some of my old tools, and uh, I'll get to that in just a moment. Now I'm posting this video on Monday because yesterday I actually finished another Tough Mudder. Uh, you can see on my shirt here. If you don't know what a Tough Mudder is, I've got a link down below so you can actually check that out uh, in the description here. And it's actually an, uh, about a 10 or 12 mile mud obstacle course uh, with, uh, like I said, obstacles in it. that. <laughs> It, it's pretty fun. Uh, I, we've, I've done a few of these. Uh, we have a group that gets, gets together pretty much every year to do one of these. Uh, we've done it for about four years now. And every time you finish one, they end up giving you a headband. So in 2012, we started this. We did one in 2012, and then we did one in 2013. Uh, so we started off in Kentucky. Uh, in 2013, we went to St. Louis and did one. And in 2014, we went to Ohio Valley and completed one. And then we came back to Kentucky because they did it in a different location this year and uh, finished one just yesterday. So we've done four of these now and we're planning on going to Nashville next year uh, to do a Tough Mudder there, uh, which we actually tried last year to go to Nashville, uh, but we were signed up for the Sunday event and the Sunday event got wiped out because uh, they ended up having a big uh, rain and wind storm that wiped out the course uh, Saturday night. So they ended up getting it canceled. So we ended up doing Ohio Valley last year. So it's a fun event. If you haven't ever done one and you're interested in doing something just off the wall and extreme, try it out. It's, it's pretty cool. It's fun. So there are all sorts of different mudding events. There's Rugged Maniac and different things like that. I've done quite a few different things, but uh, Tough Mudder is probably the... Uh, they have seen the best obstacles. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. So check it out. That's, that's, that's one thing that uh, I just have to say is, is pretty cool. It's fun. But back to woodworking. Um, I did get some stickers in the mail this week um, uh, from Mighty Wood. And... From Sterling Davis, I got Sterling's Woodcraft. And from Woodworking Geek, got www.geek.com. And Andy Glass sent me Glass Impressions. And Chris Cute sent me Make the First Cut Woodworking. And then we've got Peter Brown sent me shop time sticker so that's stickers I got this week so we'll put those on the on the cabinet here in just a moment so like I said I did get some work done on the crib um, got some mortise and tenons cut for the front and back framework the uh, the top and bottom rails I still need to cut some uh, mortises for all the slats that'll be going in there and I actually created a jig for that um, that's about as far as I've gotten this week. Um, I'm going to be moving on with that uh, for the remainder of, I guess, I, that's where I got last week. I guess it's now a new week starting Monday. So this week I'll be working on that, but I'm, I'm going to be gone for a couple days because I'm getting ready to head up to Cincinnati now. Uh, so that's, that's where I'm at with that. And also uh, for the shop, uh, I've moved things around quite a bit. Uh, I had to make a lot of space because I now have a new joiner. Uh, it's a much larger joiner than what I had before. I sold, uh, I sold the two joiners that I had and uh, sold a couple other tools as well and bought a 12-inch Grizzly joiner. It's a Grizzly 0609X. It's a 12-inch helical head uh, joiner and it's pretty big. It's Hopefully the largest joiner I'm ever going to need, and I am very happy with it. I've got it set up and in place. I don't have dust collection run to it yet, because um, I just haven't had time to actually get the dust collection all set up. But I do have my new dust collector also here. Uh, it's still in boxes. I haven't had a chance to actually uh, unbox it and assemble it. 
So, a lot of work still yet to be done on the shop itself. So, that's all, that's all still to come. But, I hope you all have a great week, and I hope the past week was also wonderful for you as well. So, have a great week this week, and God bless.